Today we're going to go over the history of the Total Station and how it's evolved from the theodolite that it once was. And if you're interested in expanding your knowledge on theodolites and Total Stations, then I invite you to our free online workshop, but more about that at the end of this video. In the early 1920s, Hendrik Wild, a Swiss engineer and geodesist, founded the Wild Herberg Company. His goal was to create high accuracy survey equipment that was durable enough to handle the outdoors. No, the one piece of equipment that really stood out and put Wild Herberg on the map is this. This was the Wild T2. So we'll go ahead and unstrap these and I can now lift this up and there it is. That is the T2. In 1923, the T2 was a groundbreaking piece of survey technology because it provided the ability to measure not only horizontal angles, but also vertical angles. The Wild T2, being the first of its kind, had an angular accuracy of one arc second. I mean, most modern total stations today that are one arc second can run you fifty to sixty thousand dollars, and this thing is a hundred years old and was capable of doing the same thing. Now, the T2 was used for decades, given its extreme level of precision, and it was heavily trusted by the United States military to conduct geodetic survey projects for many, many years. This one, actually, in my hand here, you can see was a part of the US Air Force and property of the military. Wild Herbert paved the way for creating affordable, lightweight, and durable theodolites. They also created some of the most accurate pieces of survey technology for the time, and that's when he created the most revolutionary theodolite ever to exist. This is the Wild T1. And this is the T1. So the T1 was first introduced in 1933. Um, it was very ideal for construction layout, boundary surveys, and um, many of the topographic surveys that were done. It was small, it was light, compact, People really enjoyed using it. It was very affordable compared to other types of serving equipment. And um, I think this is probably where Switzerland starts to get its reputation for creating good surveying equipment. And modern day total stations today carry relatively the same amount of accuracy as a T2 did about 100 years ago. Now in the 1950s and 60s, we start to see the introduction of the Electronic Distance Measurer, or EDM. EDMs were used in conjunction with theodolites to measure both angles and distances and digitally save this information on the equipment. EDMs were large and cumbersome because they had a lot of components, and this is when computer chips became more popular. And by the 1980s, we start to see the first generations of the modern day total station. Now in this time, while Herbert, along with several other surveying companies, merged together and became what we now know as Leica Geosystems. And today, Leica Geosystems is a leader in surveying equipment. They make total stations and GNSS receivers and laser scanners and just about anything that you can use to measure data. And in the early 2000s, Leica created several EDM-based total stations like this one. This is a TS6 and the most reputable thing about this TS6 is that it has a range of 1,000 meters with reflectorless measurements and up to 3,000 meters using a reflective prism. And not to mention that this still maintained the one arc second of accuracy that Leica is known for. Um, of course, there are many other great companies that make surveying equipment, but Leica contains all of the initial technology that Wild Herbert created, who was a pioneer in creating survey theodolites. And in today's surveying world, we use robotic total stations like this Leica TS-16. While the total station is sitting on a tripod, it has the ability to move and power search and find your prism. So as a surveyor has a prism and a controller, they're able to move around and actually collect data on their own without the need of having someone behind the total station. The total station can record data for the survey, maximizing efficiency, while also maintaining the one arc second of accuracy, 3,500 meters of range in prism mode, and you can power search up to 300 meters away from the total station. The evolution of the theodolite into modern day total stations is truly a remarkable part 
of the surveying history. And if you're ready to learn everything there is to know about the total station, how to set up the total station, how to do traversing, how to do construction layout, then you have got to attend this free online workshop. So make sure you click on the link in the description and secure your spot for our free online workshop. And I look forward to seeing all of you very soon.